this uh, new initiative of uh, a, a youth, uh, an arts or arts and youth uh, week will be about showcasing the power of the arts, the creative power of young people who really use their creativity, their imagination, um, every artistic discipline to take actions to bring about change in their communities, in their neighborhoods, to combat some situations that are very grim and, and troubling and that are happening here in Canada. And as we saw, you know, the, the thought singers uh, performing for us, it's so wonderful and it fills my heart with so much hope because they're using this ancient art just to get back to their roots, to strengthen their identity, to, uh, to bring their community together, to bring the generations together, and it's wonderful. And I know how much hope is being created just by doing this. Um, and <laughs> I, I want to congratulate uh, ANSI, the Arts Network for Children and, 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 and Youth, because I believe that this initiative is, is an amazing one. Uh, making it a national buzz around youth, creative power, and the power of the arts. How important the arts and culture are, you know, for health, for environment, to, for living together, for, uh, yeah, I could say, for shape, for, uh, to shape and to transform a society, you know. Because our first steps in the life, forget the I'm sure you didn't forget that, you know, when you were a child, a baby, you know. Our first sketch is our first way to write something is to take a pen and to make a, a sketch, you know, first. I think we started with the arts. And uh, we start with the arts to learn. We start with culture and arts to see the others, to meet the other, and to exchange with the other. And then I could say education is based on that, not the reverse. And uh, I could say the motto for the foundation is that, for me, is that, you know, uh, culture and hearts as weapons of massive construction. Don't forget. Yeah.